Good day, mates. You know who I am. My name's Nye. And shit. I figured I would just record a vlog finally to let people know what's going on and stuff. And just try to give the general internet an update. The first update is this cord goes into your Thunderbolt port, I guess, on your Mac, and it gives you direct HDMI. And if you can see that, but that, oh, you gotta use that, that, that shitty ass, um, that, com that, um, the, you know, the PC cord, and you use the converter to convert it to your TV type. That shit didn't work out so well for me, so I got, like, one, two, three, four, five cords and adapters sitting on my four, which I need to post back to Amazon and sell them back. Because those things are fucking worthless to me. And they suck. But this cord, best thing fucking ever, dude. Now I just got to get my my um, my um connector for this piece. Because my cord, my 15-foot cord, which if I remember correctly is like down here. Here it is. If I can get to it, mate. Oh, shit. Headphone just came out of my ears. Headphones, headphones, headphones. Headphones I don't have. But headphones just came out of my ears. But this cord is down here. This cord just came in the mail today. It's 15 feet. It's not braided, as you can see, from Amazon. It's, you know, my total charges for my cords were this cord and the other cord were like six fucking dollars. Six dollars. As you can see, it's gold plated. Well, you can't really see if it's gold, but it is gold-plated, and it, well, it rocks, because it's long enough, so it means once I get my connector piece, which goes here and here, I do this, and then plug this into my laptop, and then everything I do on my laptop, I can see on my TV. It's so fucking epic. Um, in other news, I got a new Razor. This fucker cost like 150 something best thing ever. No more of that. Oh my god, I'm shaving and I can't I can't get her done, Skeeter, because the yellow razor, or the orange razor, or burnt orange, as my, my mom calls it, because it's our favorite color. But, like, uh, it would, like, get hot, and then I have to, like, put it under cold water or something to get it to stop being super hot, and that never really worked, so, yeah. Let's see, I got... I got the Apple Time Machine thingy, the Time Machine Router, whatever you want to call it. Two gigabytes of storage, plus I can broadcast two signals at once. So I typically broadcast a 5 gigahertz signal and the standard signal. Um, my devices, such as my brand new 64 gigabyte iPod 5, like a boss, in blue, like a boss, you, when you see this little dumbass thing hanging from it, that's how you know it's a new one, but yeah, I got that, I love the, um, the new, the new cord that goes to the new iPods, I don't like the fact that you have to get an adapter for this iPod to actually be relevant on all the old technology for other iPods, because this clearly will not fit the old um, port, if you can see it, but this thing is fucking stellar, dude, this thing is seriously fucking stellar, and as you can see, mine is on, it works, you can see my Jill Mad Beast background, oh yeah, I have Mad Beast shoes now, uh, I mean, you should have figured I'd, had, I'd get some shoes and made, made in memory of Jill, Jill, and yes, my eyes really are red, yes, I look like a vampire, I'm sorry, no, I'm not a Twilight fan, per se. No, I'm not on Team Edward, Team Jacob, none of that shit. But, odd story. First is, some black chick at school can't stand to look at me because I had in my red wolf contacts. And now, I have these ones in, and as I'm on the bus, I mean, on the train, of all places, coming home from school, because we, the math teacher let us sleep earlier, so I was like, I have an emergency, I need to leave. And he was like, well, go, I'm like, ah, get the fuck out of here. Because, yeah, I'm going to end up dropping math, but I'm going to stay in tutoring, and I'm going to prepare well for the next like, semester. I get an A in a goddamn class and be done. I mean, I just want to get math done, but whatever. But, um, this chick, black chick, high schooler, couldn't be no more than 18. 
if if she's like lucky. She was like, your eyes, they look so cool. And I'm like, why are you not? I was thinking to myself, why is she in my face? And what the fuck? Vampires aren't friendly. We aren't sparkling. I'm going to give you hugs and balloon kisses and shit. Bitch, I'm going to hurt you. I didn't say that, obviously. Yeah. But she was like, oh, your eyes look so cool. And Well, actually, she gave me the Facebook thumbs up because when people are typically, oh, my bad. My light went down because, yeah, my, um, much more called the side of the idol. I have to use my TV in a, a dark room to illuminate this because otherwise, uh, my light up there will not let you see me at all. If I try to record a video of just that light and nothing else, unless I have like some sunlight coming in from outside, it's like, yeah, no, fuck you, Nate. All right. Anyway, and plus, you can't see my eyes. You can see them now. I don't actually look at people. People are like, why won't you look at me? I'm like, I don't want to look at you because my eyes aren't meant to, meant to make people all want to be all chummy and buddy-buddy and talk to me and shit. No, my, my eyes are meant to make you run in fear. Oh, that guy's evil. He's not nice. Oh, yeah, no, I don't fucking talk to him. Yeah. That's like, no matter what I do, I, I can't get people to stop wanting to fucking talk to me. I mean, I don't even say shit most of the time. I just look at people and they see my teeth and that's the main thing. This chick, when when I was on the train, she kept making comments about my eyes and I actually spoke. She said to me, are they contacts? I'm like, what do you think? And when I spoke, she was so in my mouth that she saw my teeth because typically you can't see my teeth like now. When I'm speaking, unless I fully enunciate words and open my mouth, you don't typically see my teeth because... I've become accustomed to mass and the fact that I actually have these teeth in my mouth because pretty much I have the features of like a snake or serpent or some shit. I guess it's just natural selection. See? They came in when I was like, what, 10, 11? And I was supposed to have them pulled and then I just said, no, they're mine. They're my teeth. They belong to me. So whatever. But anyway, she was like, oh my god, you have fangs in your mouth, are they real, are they real? I'm like, first of all, how the hell would you position fake fangs in the back of your mouth like that? That should be excruciatingly painful, first of all, because the fangs, if they aren't properly sized, they will go up into the top. I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the episode of The Simpsons where Lisa had to get braces, but yeah. That's pretty much how much, what my mom and dentist said to me, said that shit was going to happen to me. I'm like, you know... It, it was supposed to, but it didn't. My my fangs didn't continue to grow. They stopped. So, whatever. But, um, yeah. She was, like, super fascinated and kept looking at me. And she was getting her friends to look at me. And it was like, why is all this attention on me? I do this to get away from attention, not to get... Oh, yes, let's run up to him and, oh, hugs and kisses! Black guy with red eyes! No. But yeah, um, let's see. And there has been a lot of stuff going on. Pretty much I'm, I'm doing well in every class except for math. And after today, after looking at my point total, it's like I can drop the class and just re-sign up for the same class again next semester. It's like this is repeat of fall 2011, in my opinion. I think that's, yeah, fall 2011. This is like a repeat, except for the fact that I didn't have six classes then. I only had like three or four. The next semester, I'm supposed to have, like, seven, and then we're supposed to keep doing all this shit. But yeah. It's like, they don't understand it. I'm being coming overworked, and the only way I can actually succeed and do what I need to do is if I manage to find time to a lot to actually take in a test for my license, take it, get it passed, get it done, and then immediately get a car. A car or vehicle of some sort. That is the only way this, this, this school plan, that this trajectory path that Linda has me on will work. Otherwise, it's just going to fail, and it's going to fail hard, and, yeah. But, yeah, I've been having a lot of stuff going on. I've been dealing with shit. I've been trying to do shit. Um, yeah. There's just so much stuff that has happened from here to now. It's like, I'm sorry I haven't left, like, some sort of video update. But, yeah, I have all sorts of eyes. I mean, I have, I have like snake eyes, snake-ish kind of eyes, so they're molded after stuff. People are always asking me where you get contact from, this, that, this, that, this, that. They don't get, a, they don't get an answer from me. I'm like, the internet. <laughs> That's it. All I'll say is the internet. 
I mean, if you want to contact that bad, look on the internet. But yeah, most people don't realize that there's a lot that goes into having contacts. So even having eyes that look like mine, there's a lot that you have to deal with. Like, let's say I randomly get in, kind of fall asleep with these things, and my eyes will start to take the effect of my contacts along with the. the well, I get. I I label this X factor. Because, you know, rapid, regenerating, healing, blah, 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 blah. But my X factor will kick in, and then I wake up, and I go look in the mirror. Like, when I went to take these things out, the one, the first time I fell asleep with them in, I was only for, like, maybe 15 minutes. I dozed off, and I came to it. I'm like, oh, shit, I still got these things in my eyes. I got to eat them out. Then I went and looked in the mirror. I could see the veins, like, going towards my eye. And it was all yellow and shit. And then my eye was actually... The pupil, I mean, the, the, the whatever you want to call this shit, the colored part was turning red. And I was looking at myself from there like, what the fuck? And I pinched myself to make sure I was awake, first of all. And the second of all, I'm like, I take the contact out. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, well, what the hell's going on wrong with my eyes? And it's like, here's shit. This shit could actually become permanent. I mean, that's, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't scare me anything. But I don't want to blind myself to make it permanent. That'd be kind of gay. I wouldn't be able to see to kick some ass. But yeah. Um, I have all sorts of contacts. I mean, I even have some of the upper tier ones, but those ones don't work for me because the material and the paint, they're so fucking heavy and irritating on my eye. It'll make me choke kittens. But yeah, I have these, which are fun vampire. I don't hate people when they label, label shit fun. Vampires are fun, bitch. But these are fun vampire. I have red wolf. I have blue angelic. I have... All sorts of shit. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to just... I'm just trying to, like, get stuff in order. I need... I know I need to find some time to go get this license. This license is, like, the bane of my existence because I wouldn't fail math class or I wouldn't have issues with math class if I actually had more time to devote towards math because I spend two hours up on the bus, two hours back on the bus. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. I, I try to fill that time with reading for English class or, like trying to prepare a paper or some shit, but yeah, I know there's an extra credit assignment for JMC, there's an extra 25 points, I do all the extra credit assignments just because I want the point, I mean, I've gotten to be on both exams, so when I do the extra credit, it's to make up for any kind of mistakes or snafus that I run into when it comes to the whole, oh, we get like these, these weekly lessons, quizzes that, 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 Pretty much make sure if we have paying attention in class or whatnot. And I'm like, yeah. Mm. Ashley says it's fine. My brain's going like, you say it's fine now. But I know women. It's one minute, it's one thing. Next minute, it's, oh my God. Ah, die. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, but a lot of stuff that. I'm not really at lib to say, mainly because of the fact that these videos are going to be public. I'm not going to put any sort of restrictions on them, and when I post it to Facebook, I don't know who's seeing what, so yeah. I don't want to say something that gives someone an impression that I'm trying to do something that I'm not. I mean, I take note, and I pay attention to my surroundings. This is the one thing that I say to Sherry on, on every time she's, like, even remotely close to me. It's like, dude, you claim that you pay, or you... You claim that you're aware of your surroundings, but you're really not. PlayStation! Can we just get me, like, a fixed fucking board or something that's goddamn white? You know, something that's white and won't fucking disappear off my screen like that. There we go. Now we got something that's really fucking bright and awful looking. Hopefully it can get you guys... Can you see me better now? Can you see my eyes? Apparently... Look nice. I don't think I look nice at all. I think I look like a demon who is just waiting to like slit your throat or some shit. And it's, that's the desired effect. I don't want people to run up to me. I don't want people to talk to me. When I'm at school, I want people to look at me funny and walk the other way. Typically, I get that. It's like when I get away from school. And it's like, it's, it's just black people. I'm sorry if this is, is racist or discriminatory or whatever, like but black people, just because my skin's brown doesn't mean I give a shit about you, want to talk to you, you want to know you, none of that. We don't know each other intimately. Do not approach me with the old, hey, what's up, bro? I don't know you. Away from me. Go away. Die. 
I mean, it should be obvious. The, 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 die! It's just there. But, yeah. People just love to walk up and talk to me and shit like that. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. You say... Say that now. You say that now. The only grief I have with the iPod is... Why does it take brain power to figure out how to get my videos to sync to this shit? I want my videos, which are already converted into proper format, to sync to this. I mean, I can get the videos playlist to show randomly, and I can get the videos to show, and then they just they just disappear. It goes blanks out, shit, whatever. Um, let's see, school. I pretty much I'm passing every class, schooling math. That's always the same shit with math. Never anything different. Next semester, I will supposedly be taking my first dance class. I mean, you can see I already have the gloves. Well, this glove is kind of, you, you can see it right there. Where, I guess you get what you pay for. And, yeah. I'll probably replace them. Or what the fuck ever. I'm, I'm just not really in a thinking mood right now. Because I know I have to work on my social paper soon. Because I have a social paper due and then a social exam tomorrow. We only get, like, fucking three chances to score points in this class, man. It makes no sense. It's like notes, 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 exam. Notes, 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 exam. Notes, 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 exam. Where the f we got like three exams, which gives us like a total of 300 points. Where the fuck's the rest of our points at? How the hell are we? It's like if you fuck up on the exam, you're going to fail the class because it's just not proper. I mean, there are like no other ways to score points. I mean, like you can get like shitty grades on at least two exams and still pass most classes with like a, a high B. This class, if you screw up on one exam, you're playing catch-up, and if you mess up another exam, you're done. It doesn't make any sense, because the, the, by the time the second exam comes, it's actually past the cutoff date by the time she grades it. And you can't withdraw without, that, without getting a, a physical F. Now, I don't want a physical F. I can avoid that shit, but I'm not really worried about that class, because, yeah, I think she's see from every paper that I hand in, I understand the concepts, and I understand all of it. It's just that... I have, like, some sort of test anxiety where they fling this dumbass piece of paper at me and I derp the hell out. Oh, my controller's going to die hard as shit. I don't do a lot. That's another thing. For people who are Final Fantasy XI related, the last time I was in-game and I made an actual purchase was October 12th. So in about five days, no, about four days since it's the seventh, and it's about to be the eighth. In about four days, it'll be about a month since I've logged in and done anything. I mean, I will log in and look at stuff, but I will probably not, I won't even say anything. But I haven't really logged in since the twelfth. Once I bought that hat, and it was like I said, I mean, I have so much shit to deal with. But if I get rid of math class now, I have some more free time to lot to everything else because JMC's mindless. Um, biology is. Biology. Biology lab is it's just it's just a struggle. I just got well, I just want to get through this. So English is going pretty good. Teachers teachers the teacher I can't say that on here either. The teacher, great. That class is going okay. So I'm not really sure. Teacher super fucking hot. You can hear that me. Um JMC, mindless. So that's three classes right there. Uh, don't even affect me. Um, what else do I have? Bio. I have what? JMC, English, Social, Bio, Bio, Math, Sex. So there's classes I got. The only class that bothers me is Math. The rest of this shit's just uh, up in the air kind of thing. Actually, I have help with Biology, the physical class. Well, it's online. The help is good, so, yeah. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. <laughs> oh, you ass face. Oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to respond to text messages because I want to say, dude, do you not remember how the summer went? I mean, things can be different. Oh, I hate saying that because that's just like the go-to phrase I had to go to every time I had to mention something to Julianne. It's like, dude, if you would just fucking listen, life would be different. She's still in the same fucking boat. 
she was, sent me a message the other day, like, if I don't come up with $400, I'm going to be homerish. And my brain was like, good luck with that. I ain't, I ain't got no sort of help for you. I haven't heard a, a fucking peep about any of the money that is owed to me or anything like that. I haven't heard a peep about repayment. I haven't heard a peep about any sort of progress she's making. Anything I hear is everything I hear from her is negative. There's not one ounce of positive in anything I hear from her, other than she did okay on her midterms. Other than that, I don't hear an ounce of positive in anything she ever has to say. And I was like, dude, let's hang out and do something. I just want to like, just do something. I don't want to just like, oh yes, I want to grope you. No, I just want to like get out and do something fun. Something fun that doesn't involve a specific person. A specific person is a great person, but in the same sense, it's like this person's a teenager and I am an ancient old man who has to teach the wise ways of the world and how to be a woman and do this and do that. And I'm like, I'm not a woman. Look at me. My chest is fucking hairy. I'm a guy. So the whole me having to teach a woman to how to be a woman and try and give this woman some sort of self-esteem, self-concept, and a backbone is starting to take a heavy toll on me. It's like, dude, I am sick and tired of trying to mold you into the person that you should already be. And then she apologizes for fucking everything. It's like, dude, every other second, I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry for that. I'm like, I'm about sick of seeing I'm sorry. Grow a backbone. I mean, I'm, it's like, that's one of the moments where if she was like Jillian and didn't apologize for shit, I wouldn't kind of be that mad because I am so tired of seeing I'm sorry. Every time I pick up my, this is my phone, every time I pick up my phone or I look at my computer, it's like, I'm sorry for this. And it's the same shit. I'm, it's either I'm sorry or if I don't get to talk to you, good night. It's like, dude, there is like no variety here. I mean, I'm used to Gemini's being all random and sporadic. Oh, makes me m miss Rebecca because her random and sporadic at least it would caught me off guard and gave me new scenarios and options and shit to deal with but this woman is like do you really the only thing I get from you is the same timeless I'm sorry or this that I mean she's a great person she helps me out at times or she helps me out when if she if she wasn't there to help me out I would severely struggle so she is a very good kind and generous person and I appreciate that and I try to be as thankful and appreciative as possible but it's just like sometimes I just want to tell her shut the fuck up and go away I mean I have those moments I have a lot of those moments because I'm in school and I have a lot of shit to deal with and I got people trying to get me to download digital copies of movies on their stupid ass laptop they can't figure out how to push one button and do it themselves I'm always getting to say, do this for me, do this, do this, do this, do this. It's usually help me, but we all know that help me equals do it for me in her fucking language. So, yeah. Well, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to survive this semester. I mean, yeah. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, there's a lot of things going on, good and bad. And I haven't really isolated anything. But, yeah. But I don't think I look cool. I think I look tired. I always look tired. I mean, I don't really feel this context. And most of the time, I don't even see anything. Like, how do I describe this? Here, sometimes I can see is a border. And I call it creature vision, nightmare vision, because it's like if the if the lens isn't being friendly to me, I have like it's like this in my eye. My my fingers are, are representing the red border. It's like, this is what I see. It's like this border. And every time I look, any, like, if I look this way, I can see this. If I look that way, I don't really see much weight. Well, I can't really see it because the color of my, my drapes, if you can see that, is, but is I see this color in my eye over here, so I can't really differentiate it too well. But um, it depends on which way, which direction I look. But when I put the um the first pair of contacts in, which were called berserkers, oh man, that shit was awful. I had that bitch in one eye for 45 minutes max, and it was so excruciating. I had to get it out. I tried everything in the fucking book to get it to not feel that way. It didn't work. I tried the red angelics that I eventually gave to Sherry. It worked fine. I'm like. 
I guess you use it a comfy kind or the wearable kind and plus sterling it's only like sixty dollars and they are good for a year, but I tend to ditch them in about six months. So I pay sixty for them, I get six months out of it. So it's about ten dollars a month. I I think that's a good deal, personally. I mean no one else is gonna wear the contacts that you see me wearing now. No one else is gonna wear any of my contacts because all my contacts have power, so if you aren't the same level of blind as me, my contacts are irrelevant to you anyway. Unless I order some clear ones, which I don't often do. I do that only for Sherry when she asks me to, or I feel like I'm being generous towards her. But yeah. Um, there's just a lot going on. and a lot of stuff that I'm not going to put in this video, mainly because I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, my stomach feels like crap, it's like I'm going to take another huge shit. Last night I decided to eat some raisin bread, then I ate some beans, and yeah. Oh, I actually, I drank like this to actually get the English paper done. I had to drink like two of these, and it still didn't give me my uh, motivated feeling. So, I drank two of those, I, I felt like crap, I managed to bullshit my way through that paper. Uh, yes, I just farted, yeah, yes, yeah. Um, I managed to bullshit my way through that paper. I handed it in this one. I'm hoping to get it back whenever, and hopefully it, it, it gets like a decent grade. That's <sighs> crap. The English teacher has this reading is so awful. And this, I mean, uh, in the, my current class, which is AM lit, this this Walden nonsense is like the first excruciating thing she's had us read. I mean, it's just excruciating. I'm looking at this shit like, this shit doesn't make any fucking logical sense. It's like, what the fuck is this guy on? Some sort of power trip? I mean, even if, even if he was that egotistical, the, the shit that he's writing makes my brain go, Ugh. But yeah, apparently we gotta read that shit because our next essay is gonna be on that shit. It's gonna be some sort of response. So I'm hoping that we have other options because if I have an option to opt out of writing about that specific story or whatever, I'm taking that. I'm opting the fuck out. That shit is so boring and mindless. I wouldn't want to put a reader through that. Usually when I write, I write about real life stuff. Stuff that's actually actually going on or it has happened or transpired. I don't bullshit people with this, that. I don't try and make myself out to be something that I'm not, etc. Et et I give you what you see every day. Just this guy trying to do what he needs to do. I mean, yeah. But my goals are to hopefully... Get a day off from school, which will be Monday. <laughs> My first day off from school, yo. Uh, I get Monday off, and then, I don't know, I'm going to try and study for my shit, like, tomorrow night or something. Oh, I know, I need to hurry up and get this video done. But I need to do lots of stuff, you know, friends and people who want to talk to me and stuff. I'm just trying to branch out. Oh, yeah, this black chick on OkCupid okay decided that she wanted to message me and try to convince me that... African American women are worth talking to, and I'm like, I, I looked at I looked at the message, and I'm like, you can't you can't you can't be you can't be serious. You got to be kidding me. I, I went to some sway shit. Like, you can't be you can't be seriously expecting me to want to talk to black women. I'm like, dude, they just don't interest me. They're fucking boring. I mean, all bullshit aside, I mean, I'm yes, I have a very 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 low tolerance for the typical for most black women in general. I mean, I'm not discriminatory as opposed to looks where I feel like most women, I don't care what color you are, it, it's more when physically most women are yay, thumbs up. Well, I take that back. I'm not talking about fatties and grenades and all this shit. I'm talking about like the average or typical average Caucasian female. Usually gets a thumbs up from me. Whereas this black chick it's like Okay, they get thumbs up too. Until they speak, then it's like, da da da, no, get the fuck back, back it up, back it up. Because it's just like, dude, I don't, I don't want to deal with the, oh, you're paying to get my hair and my nails done, nigga, you out, oh, if you call me that word, I'm probably going to drop you on your fucking head. I mean, yes, I'm, even myself, I'm known to use that word, especially when it comes to music, but my brain's like, you yeah, know, don't call me that. My name's not nigga. It, it just irritates me. And it's starting to irritate me when I'm in um, social class where I hear the term black thrown around. It's like, dude, shut up. Black is the color of my sweatshirt. Now, is this my, my sweatshirt and my skin color, do we blend in? If I do this, you can still see that I'm brown. My shirt's black. Brown. Black. 
Thus, I'm tired of hearing the whole black people. I'm like, dude, African-American chicks bore me. Those chicks trying to convince me that they're worth talking to. And I'm like, yeah, now? I mean, I could be a friend, but if you mean like dating and interested in you, I'm sorry, back it up, black girl, back it, back it up. Night doesn't want any more black. <laughs> I wear enough black. I don't want any more. I'm sorry. But yeah. All in all, life's just been gone, and I've been trying to do what I can to make ends meet, do this, do that. Try not to waste any money on any people who don't deserve it, etc., etc. I'm not falling back into old habits. When these chicks like approach me, like they like, ooh, we like what you look like, and think that you might be a good candidate to date. My brain goes, I haven't even thought about dating relationships in so long that you're kind of wasting your time unless you want to like give me like a free pass to re-explore how I would like to talk to women and stuff like that. When, Seeing as most women aren't going to give me that free pass because, in all God's honesty, I haven't, I haven't had the, the free time to think about dating or relationships or being with anyone. Yes, sure, I get, I get constant dating and relationship bullshit from Sherry, sure. But at the end of the day, I'm not really thinking about it. It's not like, it's not me who's bringing on the thought process. It's usually her and the bullshit. It's not usually not me. When I, when I bring it on, that's when things come out when I'm able to voice things and really focus on what it is that I want. But seeing as I'm not allowed to bring it up basically because I have six classes. Well so we'll just go with six. I have six classes and I don't really have the time to think about this sort of thing. Uh, it doesn't really seem valid to me because I mean sure, it would be really nice to have a, a, a solid girlfriend who had her her shit together mentally who could just be there for enjoyment and fun and stuff like that but at the end of the day my brain goes yeah you're probably not gonna find out you're looking for a buddy until you until you're socially accepted or accepted in society you know you gotta have the three you gotta have the big three car place no wait what was it education, car, job. You ain't got those. Most Caucasian women don't want anything to do with you. Now, black chicks, they don't really give a shit. All you got to do is have some sort of money or get them pregnant so they can mooch off of welfare. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. I'm not going to hold that shit back. That's pretty much how it is. I mean, yes, there are some exceptions, but the majority of black folks are still super, 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 super far behind, and it's like, dude, really? So, yeah, we watch lots of, we, we, this is why I shouldn't be in the social class, because I, I see so much about race and ethnicity that it, it actually makes me frown at, like, most people in general. I don't give a fuck what color you are. I frown at everyone equally. It's like, people as a whole of society, you need to get it the fuck together, because it's just awful. But yeah, this video is about 34 minutes, so I'm going to leave it at that. If you want to hear about something else, if you would like to see something private or something that's not public, something that I can really tackle issues with, leave me a note, comment, whatever. If you want to see more of my various colors from my, my eyeballs, you can leave me a comment about that too. I mean, I have, I, I'm lazy, but... um. I think I have, like, all of the vials still. I'm going to try to wrap this up really quick, so, 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 don't, don't, so don't troll me. But as you can see, I have so many fucking vials, it's not funny. And if you actually go into my list, it says, You have... You ordered Fun Vampire Red, Blue Angelic, Red Wolf, and Lewis. Lewis are the ones that pretty much give me snake eyes. The green makes me look like a snake. It brings out all the natural serpent-like qualities that I already have. So, yeah. But I have contacts. I mean, if people want me to review or show them stuff or give them pointers and tips, I will. And I will say this. You you start off with your clear lenses that you, you are a prescription that you see through or whatever. Then, and only then... Once you have mastered your clear lenses, do you step up to theatrical? If you don't, you'll be on YouTube talking about 
how companies are bad and they ruin your eyes and this, that, this, that, this, that work. If you do just 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 this much homework, you won't have any problems at all. The only thing I have a problem with is I get dry eye and headaches, but dry eyes from this specific type of lens because it's not as a circle lens, it's not the other other type, the air optics. And my headaches are just my headaches because I'm stressed out from everything I have to fucking deal with. But other than that, I have like no symptoms of anything on my eyes. I look at my eyes daily with the lenses in, with lenses not in. I make sure if I see any sort of sunspots, blemishes, blah, 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 on my pupil slash iris that I'm going to dash my ass to the eye doctor. So yeah, I know what I'm doing. Like a boss, 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 like a boss. Like a boss. So yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say. Hope this up though upload and I'll get back to doing my stuff. But I'm about to go, oh, I keep forgetting I never updated my PlayStation's clock. While I'm sitting here looking at this shit, I'm about to update my clock because my clock says that um my clock says that it's like fucking seven something. And it was really irritating me because yeah, I know it's not seven something. It's only six twenty one my time. And I typically, I come in the house, I will deal with everything else, and I will, at 6.30, even, I will try and deal with my schoolwork as much as I can. So, at 6.30 is what I'm trying to start on this, or I'm trying to try and, I can't even speak straight, I'm trying, I'm going to try to shit my way through this, this, this sociology assignment, because I have had an awful week with the sickness and the puking, not puking, but the sickness and the pooping and the stomach aches and the feeling, so yeah, I'm just trying to get stuff done, because if I survive tomorrow, the week's over, I don't have to deal with English until next Wednesday, I don't have to deal with journalism until like the following Monday, yes, dude, that's like what, the, 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 I don't even know what Monday that is. I'm looking at my calendar right now. So, 12 is off. The next time we will be in a journalism class is like the 19th. Yeah, that guy is like going to be super pissed at us, but I got to take another shit. So, this is night signing off. If you have anything you would like to say to me, please leave me a comment. Rate, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to post this Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to dash the math because my stomach is killing me. I should not have eaten that clam chowder. Later, guys. Peace. Man. Fucking beast.